All right, I'm about to make a, I'm about to make a guide right now. Swear to God, I'm about to talk about Yoshi's best moves, punishment. Okay. All right, cool. Um, Yoshi guide, boom. Here we go. Yoshi in general, right? <laughs> is a very high damage character right now. Honestly speaking, he's super high damage. Uh, and he's also mix up heavy if you want a no sword stance. Or just mix up heavy in the sense that your opponent doesn't know what to do. They don't know what's going on. You're just using different strings and going ham, right? He's doing all this yada yada and going out of stance and then stands back in a flea. Three plus four, root kick, yada yada, right? Um... But moral, uh, but but to summarize all of that, right? Yoshi's just extremely good in Tekken 8. I think he's uh, top 10, honestly. I think this character's top 10. Funny enough. Uh, some of his best moves? Hmm. It's gonna be a weird one. I think I'll talk about his punishment first. So as far as punishment goes, right? He has... He has... Uh, he has 1-1 one, one for 10 framers. 1-1 one, one is a 10 framer, right? If you're no sword stance, this knocks down into 30 damage. And you could also use 2-1 in no sword stance. 2-1's also a punish you can use. So what he did there uh, is a mix One sword stance. It's a 100% 50-50. Is that like a 50% of the time works every time? Boy flashlight, thanks for the follow, bro. Uh, Yoshi also gained a new punish in Tekken 8, which is 2-2. Two, two. This move puts you- this move puts you in no sword stance. It makes sure that you're in no sword stance, which is questionably his best stance. Or not even question- well, questionably his best stance. Realistically speaking, I can't confirm or deny that. I cannot. But I will say it's extremely, extremely good. So you can use this to go into no sword stance, does 30 damage, or you can use 2-2 to go into Kencho, right? You can just use it to go to Kencho, do some Kencho mix-ups, 2-2, Kencho. So this is 2-2, two, two, 1 plus 2. 2-2, two, two, 1 plus 2. You do some mix-ups and stuff and all that, you know? Um, another Punisher he has... Counter is on, just a heads up. Nah, it's chill, bro. It's chill. Um, another Punisher that he has is... Um, I don't know what's minus 13 on Yoshi. Uh, we could just do this, I guess. He also has down forward 1-4, four, right? He also has down forward 1-4 four for 13 frame. Very long reaching move, by the way. This is a very long reaching move. And even an even longer reaching move is his back 2-2. Two two. That is 14 frames. Goes into his meat engager. Right. Back 2-2 two two is extremely long range. In fact, this is his longest range punisher. Out of all the punishers that he has, this is his longest range punisher. Back 2-2. Two, two. Um, he also has 3-1 for 15 frames. Or down for 2 for 15 frames as a launcher, right? You can get a full launch from this. Or you could just do hop kick. Any of these work. Uh, it's all your preference. I do not I do not recommend 3-1. There's no reason to. Because back 2-2 two, two does the same damage. And it's 14 frames. Or down 4-2, which is a full launcher, you know? So there's that. <coughs> um as far as best moves go, Yoshi's best moves are. Hmm. It's definitely his 3-1. I'd have to say his 3-2, 1 plus 2. And his 3-1 are his best moves right now. 3-1 puts them into a mix-up on block. Right. 
you can put him into a mix-up from no sword stance or dragonfly stance this is a frame trap they cannot press during this and this is also a frame trap if they press if they press right this launches them that's just a launcher or you just go for your 40 damage right good 40 damage 42 whatever uh this is also extremely good this is this move right here is unbelievably good unbelievably good but this is also great as well because it's a launcher you know launches are always nice and then you can just do a combo or whatever and whatever you want um another extremely good move is down to this move was buffed. The hitbox for this move has become twice as good as it has in Tekken 7. It is twice as good. This is an extremely good move. If you do not use this move, you are trolling, honestly. But, hey, to each Yoshi, to each their own, right? You don't have to use this move. Uh, it's hit confirmable. This, down to two, is a hit confirmable. You hit the first hits. Right, you hit the first hit, you can delay the, the second. Boom, boom. He's on he's on second action after hit or block. He's on standing block. So, I'm delaying it and it's still unnatural. You full delay it, it is not a natural anymore. Um, this move is minus 12 on block. It's minus 12 on block. If you do mess up the punish, it's a minus 12. But you also have follow-ups like down 2-2-2, two, 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 which is extremely good. That stops anybody from pressing or ducking. Ducking for down 2-2-1. Two, two, this is safe on block. You can use down 2-2-1 two, two, to check people for pressing. Or you can use down 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Both of those are very good to check people for pressing in both situations. That's uh, insurance policy, you know? A little bit of it. Um... Sometimes you don't even have to You don't even have to follow up sometimes you don't even have to you know people are scared of the third hits Then you just don't follow it up and you're still good uh, But down to two is extremely good. It is unbelievably good now down forward one Is also an extremely good mid this sets up for a lot of different things um, You can do down forward one into cross dash two on block right if they jab or something let's say they jab for example right then they just get beat out straight up and if they finish it then you get a full launch if they finish a jab string you just get a full launch this is a good flow chart honestly speaking just a great flow chart so you can use down forward one for pressure as much as you want right and cross this two is really, really good at stuffing them out. And you know, you can do whatever after that. Um, but you don't really have to go in after this. You don't have to go in after down forward one. Or even better, you can do down forward one, two, right? And Yoshi has a new string now. So you can do down forward one, two, one. Which trips people trips people out and is a counter hit launcher. The second hit counter hits, down forward one, two, one is a launcher. Uh, it trips it trips people out quite a lot because they don't expect you to finish it after playing so safe the whole time, right? Playing down two, down foot one, down two, playing so safe all the time, and then you finish the string. And now it's like you know whatever. Um, you also get a guaranteed hit off of this even if you don't finish it or finish the down foot one two one. You can get crotch cancel forward one plus two, or you can do uh, crotch dash one, four dash crotch dash one. Either one of those work, or you can do uh, up back one plus two. That also works. I didn't even know that until now. I just thought of it on the spot. But this this also works, bruh. <coughs> um. Fubuki Knee is also a good move as well. This gives a full launcher. Or actually, mm, 
Fubuki Nii is an acquired taste. I'll say that. It is an acquired taste. If you want to use the move, you can use it. If you don't want to use the move, you don't have to. But it's a good mix-up for lows. If you ever wanted to do that, right? It's a very good mix-up for lows. Um, as an approach tool, it's kind of difficult to use because it whiffs sometimes. And you're right in their face. But nonetheless, it's pretty good. Still pretty freaking good. Down for a two is also a very necessary move. This is an extremely necessary move. It's a normal hit launcher, unless they duck. Then it's not a launcher at all, in fact. Um, you just get a full launch off this. Minus seven on block as well. It is minus seven on block. If they try to jab or something, then you're still safe. Or you can even... Better yet, you can even uh, do down for two if you're in like no search stance or something, right? You can do down for two and then maybe do some shenaniganery with like flash and launch people for it. They try to jab, you just launch them for it, right? You can duck in flash jabs in no search stance. This is a pretty good flow chart. It's a very good flow chart, actually. Um. I think that's all his necessary moves, honestly. In my opinion, there's a lot more moves that you can use with Yoshi. Like, for example, 3-4 this is also a good move too. But the ones I just mentioned before are necessary moves that I use, me personally. This is a, a Yoshi My Way video. This is how to play Yoshi My Way. Um... <coughs> Some more necessary moves is like down back 3-3. Down back 3-3 is his best low now. This is in fact his best low. Because they buffed it. They buffed it in Tekken 8. It now it now has a little bit more range than it did in Tekken 7. It's a tiny bit more range. Which is That is literally the only thing that didn't make it the best low. And now it is the best low because it has a little bit more range. Uh, Domac 4 is also pretty good too. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's just that Domac 3 3 and Domac 4 have the same range now. They basically have the same range, so there's no reason to. There's no reason to really use this low, in my opinion. Well, they don't, they don't really have the same range. They don't. I lied. Dombek 4 still has more range. But I just think that Dombek 3-3 is just too good. It's just too good of a mix-up as well. If you don't finish Dombek 3-3, they're put into a mix-up where if you wall sending 4, you hit them. So you can actually continue your offense and do more Dombek 3-3s or... Game crash. Game crash. Game crash. Game crash. Or just game crash. Great. Now, now that's amazing. Honestly, that's that's just whew, oh my god. Man, this game is too much. This game is too much, bro. I'm telling you. This game is too much, bro. <laughs> it is what it is. I think it's because we're on Yakushima. It crashes. It's whatever. Namco don't want the Manji guy to be finished. <laughs> Apparently so. They don't want it finished, man. They do not want that Yoshi guy finished. Might as well just pick Coliseum now, right? Let's get some different stages in here. Um, all right, so, so, what were we talking about? We we're just talking about his moves in general. I think I'm over his moves anyway. I think we're already over his moves. All of his other uh, moves and stuff. Um, but I will say that his down back 3-3, you can finish that, right? You can finish this move for wall setting 4, or you can keep going with it, which is a good mix-up. This is a pretty good mix-up. 
It's not a natural. But if people are looking too hard for the wall 74, this will start working. Or if you just don't finish it, right? Don't finish the first, the, the wall 74, it becomes really good. Also, another thing, wall 74 after Manji kicks, you can go into no sword stance. That's really important. By holding back, you can go into no sword stance. That is extremely good. Unbelievably good, actually. <coughs> but yeah. Um, I forgot to talk about his wall standing punishment. So for wall standing punishment, Yoshi has... For like wall standing freaking... Let's see... Do some of these lows mm, mm, mm. for minus 12 let me turn on the frames as well for minus 12 you have wall sending four you can also go into kencho you can also go for kencho for kencho mix-ups and all that you know uh you could also go into no search stance because just like before, wall 74 goes on no sword. Which is pretty freaking good. Um You can also go for a sword sweep. <laughs> Whoops. This is quarter circle back one. In order in order to do this fast, you need to do quarter circle back one. It's the only way to do it fast. Otherwise, you're missing out on how fast you can do it. You can do it immediately, actually. It takes... You have to figure out the timing, and it's also not an easy input, so... You know. Um... For... Let's see... For... Minus 14 moves, right? Whoops. For anything over, you know... Minus 14 and stuff, you can do... Uh, you can do wall standing 1-2. This is a 14 frame punish. Pretty good. Hell, it's hella plus. Plus 14. You can start doing some stance mix-ups because you're so plus, right? You can go straight into Dragonfly. Do some Dragonfly mix-ups or... Do some flea mix-ups into the flea low or into flea root kick, you know. Hey, yo, cut with sticks for the raid, man. Appreciate it, dog. Appreciate that, man. Um, yeah, you can do some mix-ups off of this. There, she also has uh, a lot of good stances, a lot of good stances, you know. Uh, you can do, and because this move is minus 19, or no, let's just use this for example. For a launcher, you can do wall setting 2-1, wall setting 2-1, and go for a full combo, anything like this really, you know, stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna show combos a little bit later, definitely, definitely, but if you're in no sort stance, it's a little bit different because now you have to you have to use a hop kick. You have to use a hop kick to punish. No sort of stance doesn't have a wall sending one two or two one. No sort of stance does not have a wall sending two one as a launcher. So you have to do hop kick and then you can go for a full combo. You know? Um, but yeah, that's his wall standing punishment, bruh. That is his wall standing punishment. You can also punish highs with all those moves, too. Don't forget. Uh, some other good moves that he has as well is like three total to four. This is also a good move. Running three is also a pretty good move, too. This is a, this is a freaking good move. It just has no tracking. That's the only problem. No tracking and the hitbox is kind of terrible. 
Three total four is, uh, or Manji kicks, not Manji kicks. Uh, I forgot. I forgot what this move is called. But double kicks, Yoshi's double kicks, are minus six if you don't cancel, and they're plus five if you do cancel in the stance. Because it's plus five, a jab is guaranteed here if they try to jab you. But that's why we don't go into stance. So you can do other mix-ups like full crouch down for four. Or you can actually just do generic down four. Or you can do down back three three to go under jabs. Um, but if you do go into stance, then you can mix them up with like dragonfly four. Mix them up with two four. Dragonfly four one plus two. These are good moves, very good moves, right? If they start respecting you too much, you can do Dragonfly 3 plus 4 as well. Or you can do this after 3 1, where it's a real mix up. They have to respect this. So you can do 4 1 plus 2 if they press. Or if they don't press, start doing 3 plus 4. Or you can do 4. These are all good mix ups, all of them. Very, very good mix ups. Um. Some other good moves is, uh, what are they? Oh, running three? Running three as well as plus five. Plus five if you don't cancel on the stance, which is really freaking good, still. And if you do cancel, it's plus seven. So this is the same situation as three one. Three one and running three are the same situations. Except only one difference. People love respecting wall running three. No one wants to respect three one. That's the only difference. They love respecting this move. No one respects this. Nobody. Uh, but also remember that the second hit is a high. The second hit is this is a high. They can duck it. So. They can duck this. But that's why you have 3 2 as a mix up. 3 2, 1 plus 2 is. So, after the 2, the 1 plus 2 is guaranteed if you don't delay it. If you do delay it, it's not guaranteed. Actually, hold on. I don't even know. Yeah, it's not guaranteed. You can, del you can delay it a tiny bit, but it's no point in delaying it, honestly. It's really no point in delaying it. It's so small, it doesn't even matter. But that's guaranteed. If the second hit hits, the third is guaranteed if you don't delay it. And, you know, be careful, it's, it's a minus 14 while they're in crouch. So some characters can launch this, like Jin and... Raven, they can launch this move. <laughs> so be careful of that. Um, That's enough about his neutral, though. I think... I think I went over basically everything, right? As far as neutral goes. I mean, you can use... I forgot to say, like, whiff punisher. So you can use, like, back 2-2 as a whiff punisher. So let's say if they, uh... They whiff something far away, right? You can use back 2 2 as a whiff punish. That's pretty good. Or you can use down forward 1 4. These two moves are his best whiff punishers. These are his best two whiff punishers, unless you want to launch. If you want to launch them, then you have to be close enough for down forward 2. It's the only way. So what or only consistent way, it really. It's a 100% it's a 50 50. Is that like a 50% of the time works every time? Hey, Yosef. K8, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Um, back to two, you know, use as a whip punisher, down forward one four, and use down forward two. But you have to be close enough, so. You gotta remember the spacing and all that, and if it just, just so happens to be perfect, then you're godlike. You're just godlike, bro. Uh, but I guess we can go on to combos, and I, I guess that's it for the video, right? Unless there's something else, I don't know, that I forgot. 
Um, let's start off with uh, start off with down for two. You can use down for two, flash down to two into no sword stance, right? You have to hold back after down to two to go on a no sword. So it's dash up flash down to two, down for one, two, one. And then from here, you can do an easy ender. You can do an easy ender, like down to two. Or you can do flash for an even more difficult ender. And dash up down to two. It's even more wall carry. It's even more wall carry, by the way. Um an easier combo though, I guess we could talk about easy combos first. So like an easy combo with Yoshi would be in replacement of the flash, you do down forward one and then down two two. So this this would be the easy combo. Down forward one, down two two, down forward one two one, down two two. Easy combos. Uh, and if you wanna go for a little bit more, flash, down two two, you know, stuff like that. A little bit more damage. And then there's a lot of different enders you can try after this. You can dash up, flash, and then dash up again into down to two. Or you can dash up, flash into 442 for even more damage. 71. Or you can do um What can you do? I don't think there's anything anything else you could do. What's up, Flashy? What's up, Silver Lion? No way you're still streaming? Yes, we're still streaming, bruh. We're still streaming. Making a video. It's almost 3 a.m. It's pretty crazy, actually. Uh. But yeah, this, this is the combo off down for two. Easy combo. Yada yada. Same combo off hop kick, you can do down for one again as the easy combo, right? Go for two and all that, or you can do dash up flash. That also works. That also just works. Um, you can also do the same combo off of crouch dash one. Crouch dash one, dash up, down for one. Easy combo, crush dash one, flash, down to two, you know? Uh, and you can also do, you can also kind of do that combo off of full crush down four four. So off of this combo, it's wall standing four. Start off with wall standing four and then down to two. And then it's the same combo. Same combo after that. So wall setting four, down to two, and to this. Into that. Uh, you can also do, you can also do, what other combo starters are there? Rue kick, as far as Rue kick goes, um, you could still just dash up flash, honestly. You could still just dash up flash, or do the same combo, because that is, it's a pretty universal thing. Crouch S1 also works. Crouch S1 also works, but Dash of Flash is just easier, honestly. And it's like one point damage difference. It's literally a one point damage difference, so it's like, why, you know? Why? But you can also just dash up down for one. That also works. Um Another combo starter is down to two. You can use down to two after this. This is a combo starter. So down to two. It's a no sword stance. Don't forget that part. Down to two, no sword stance. Down for one, two, one. Into, you know. Whoops. Into whatever ender that you want. So you can do this again. Into this. Or you could do. Uh, uh, if the wall is right there, you can actually do down two 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 because the combo is kind of short now. You could do you can get the whole down two 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 string. 
Mm -mm -mm. It's a down 2 2 2 if the wall's close. Um. Yeah, let's look at the wall real quick. What's the combo after Crouch Dash 2? You don't, you don't think you saw any vids in Discord? Oh, Crouch Dash 2 as well? Alright. I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all the combos. Um. Can you scoot up, man? Bro, just won't scoot up. So you can do this, into this, and this, into this, right? And if the combo is kind of short here, let's say it's short, right? Let's see, let's try to record. I think we can, re I think we can record, right? So, how do we, how do you record? How do you do a safe state? Bro. All right, there it goes. So you record, boom, dash up, flash, boom, 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 boom. Down two, two. You do back one, one. It's a forward one plus two. That works. Or you can do, uh, let's record that. Or you can do, um, as a wall combo. Why is the wall so far? What? What? Wait, are we missing something in the combo? <laughs> Did we miss the flash in the combo? Why is it so far? What? Okay, record right here. How about right here? So, boom, 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 boom. Wall's right here, right? So if you're in no sort stance, if you're in no sort stance here, Boom, boom, boom. You can actually do three, two, one plus two. Three, two, one plus two is one of his highest damage wall combos. Three, two, delay the one plus two. Try to full delay it if you can. Full delay, full delay. Um, And if you are in one sword stance, and not no sort of stance like we just did. Uh, let me try to do something like that. Down two two, boom boom boom. You can do one jab, three four into four, three total four into four, or you could just get the same wall combo. Honestly, you could honestly just go for the same wall combo. It really doesn't matter, honestly. Three two one plus two. It's hella damage still. Still hella damage. Um, there there are some Oki combos as well. Like back one one, four one plus two. That also works. Yo tell my boy. Thanks for the raid, bro. Appreciate it all. Appreciate it. Appreciate that my boy. Um, let me answer, let me answer your question, AJ, for Crouch S2 combos. So Crouch S2, you can do Crouch S2, uh, let's try an easy combo first, and not that. So Crouch S2, dash up, down forward one, down two two, and then for short combos, you can do three four, you can do three four, or you can do... Uh, Dash up, side step one for short combos. Get some perfectly on the wall. If you want, if you want a little bit more damage, you can go for dash up, flash, and that works. Do do, -do and you know, Oki combo and all that stuff. These combos work pretty freaking well. They work pretty freaking well. No reason to deviate from them, honestly, and they're re they're very easy. They're very easy combos. How's Yoshi? Yoshi's a pretty fun character, man. You should try him some time, dog. Did you should try him some time, did? If you haven't already, try Yoshi, man. You won't regret it. Um, is there any other combo starters that we're forgetting? 
We did Crush Ash 2. I don't think there's any more. There's also this as well. So like Side Step 4. Or like Crush Ash 1. Or Side Step 1. Side Step 1, you can just do Down Forward 1. It's the same combo. Or you do Dash Flash. But it's a little bit harder to do. Little bit is an understatement, actually. That's a, that's an understatement. Little bit is an understatement. Uh, so down forward one is just my recommended combo for side step one, and for side step four, you can do. If, you're, if you do side step four and you don't go into stance, right? You can do down forward one again for the combo, or you can do if you're. You're already in stance, right? I'm gonna just make up a combo because I don't really have a combo for that. You can do back to one. Yeah, back to one. You do back to one into like down to two. Down to two, two. I guess that works. Or like down forward one, down to two, two. That also works as well. They both work. Well, not the last one, because it whiffed with the down 2-2, two -two, but whatever. Um, Are there any other combo starters? I don't know. I don't remember. Can't think of them now, but whatever. Um, You also said, what's the combo off down for 2 if they're off axis? If they're off axis... A good combo would be down 2-2. Two, two. So you can do down 2-2 two, two. into down forward 1-2-1, one, one. dash up, side step left, up forward 1. Or just like down 2-2, two, two, down 2, whoops. Off axis, down 2-2, two, two, down forward 1-2-1, one, one. side step left, up forward 1. And then you get a free crush S1. So, down forward 1 to 1, side step left, up forward 1, crush S1. That's all guaranteed. You can actually get a. You can actually get 4 forward 1 plus 2 after the side step left. After you side step left there, you can get a 4 forward 1 plus 2 into down 1. That also works. Boom, boom, boom. Side step left. There you go. There is the combo off axis. I'm pretty sure it also works off axis on this side. So down for one, two, one. Side step right. Remember to side step right this time because you're off axis on this side. Boom, boom, boom. Side step right. Four, four, one plus two. Into down one. Those are guaranteed and they work. They work pre pretty well. Hop kick. We already did the hop kick combo, but. Hop kick, you can do the same combo as down forward two. So you can just do hop kick, hop kick, down forward one, down two two. You know, simple combo. Hop kick, flash, down two two, down forward one two one. Stuff like that. Um. But yeah, that's as far as combos go, huh? That's as far as combos go. Pretty sure that's everything I. Everything you need to know about Yoshi. Literally everything you need to know. Unless I'm missing something. You can also get a. Uh, 443 is also a pretty good move as well. That's something I didn't mention. 443 is also pretty good. Because on hits into Kencho, it's plus 12, and 42 is guaranteed. This is guaranteed on normal hit. As well as on block, it is much, much better than Tekken 7. You do 4-4-3, and this is a, a frame trap. There's nothing they can do about this. This is also a frame trap. Nothing they can do about this as well. Both of these moves, both of these moves, they cannot press. There's nothing they can do about pressing. So it's pretty good. And to track people or to get plus frames, you can go for Kinto 3. After this, it tracks pretty well. You can also go for down one into crouch S1 on guaranteed counter it, you know. Uh, 
He also has 1-1. One, one. This is a good string now. Especially in no sort of stance because... In no sort of stance... It gives hella damage. Oh, whoops. It gives hella damage. That's guaranteed. All of that is guaranteed. It's the same bread and butter for every launcher, mostly. Basically. Basically, it's all the same. This is the easy combo. Just down forward one into down to two. And then otherwise, you just do flash. Not really a reason to, to deviate from it, you know? And then, you know, wall combos and all that is just uh, pretty simple. Ken 4 2 crushes jabs immediately now, right? Um, that's a good question. But it, that question really doesn't matter because there's no situation you'd be in where someone's going to jab and you're going to crush it with 4 2. Every situation you'll ever try with 4 2, you're always going to be plus. This is plus 3. This is plus 3 on block. They can't press here. So there's no reason for them to jab. Or jab's always going to get beat no matter what. Uh, this is also plus three. So I set four in a Kencho. Plus three already. There's no way they can beat four two. So, yeah, it really doesn't matter. That really doesn't matter. Um... Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, wait, hold on. We forgot to talk about stances. Oh, my God. Okay, as far as stances go, right? As far as stances go, in my honest opinion, I think that his bad breath is extremely good, especially if, especially if you are a newer player and you're trying to look, you're trying to figure out how to use keep out. Bad breath one which is up back, I mean, out back. It's down back one plus two. Down back one plus two, one. Or any punch. This is a launcher. So after this launcher, you can get down foot one. Down foot one, down two, two. Down foot one, two, one. Into whatever combo you want, you know? And all that stuff. Uh, bad breath is very good for keep out. It's extremely good. Especially since movement is so good in this game, Yoshi's movement's a little bit better. So you can just use this whenever, honestly. Recover super fast. This is almost impossible to whiff, whiff punish. If this move comes out, it's almost impossible to whiff, whiff punish this move. Uh, Bad Breath 3 is also pretty good. You can use this to stay away from people. Or just to be goofy, you know? Uh, Dragonfly is also very good because four Dragonfly four and Dragonfly two plus four are a mix-up. This is a grab. This move right here is a grab, and this is a mid that covers the grab. Uh, he has other moves like four one plus two, which is pretty freaking good. You can use these moves after like let's say you're mad plus. This is plus seventeen, plus seventeen. Dragonfly mix up or plus 17 dragonfly 2 plus 4 going to mix up immediately um other stances you could do are like flea flea 2 or flea rule kick this is a good mix up you can use this after this as well boom you know or boom also if your opponent can react to if they can react to this mix-up, try pressing down before you do uh, your mix-up. So they so they aren't able to, you know, react to it. It becomes almost impossible to react to. Almost. Um, other stances that he has is Kincho. Kincho is also pretty good now. It's also pretty freaking good. You have Kincho down one. Kincho's down one is very good. It's just a low. It's the only low from Kincho that's just uh 
actually used as a mix-up and can be reacted to all the time. Control 3 is also pretty good. It's a counter launcher. Into the, you know, regular combo, wall sending 4, bomb, 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 all that. Uh, but Control 3 is not that great because it's launch on block. It's not the most amazing thing in the world. Whoops. It's minus 16 on block. So, you can use that to mix up with Ken. That's Kencho or Dragonfly. I'm gonna say mix up with Dragonfly. You can use Kencho and then do up one plus two. Up one plus two to mix up, you know, Dragonfly three. Or you can never use Dragonfly three and people will always duck for it. They'll always duck for it actually if they know. Um, Kencho four is also pretty good. You can go to stance. And you can also go into meditation. You can also go into meditation stance, which is... I'd say meditations... Before in Tekken 7, meditation was pretty good. It was pretty freaking good. But it was just hard to, hard to use. In Tekken 8, there's quite literally no reason to use meditation. Just no point. <laughs> literally no point. Honestly, I mean you can't you can use it if you want to but Movement in this game is so good people can run up on you very fast So it's even harder to use in Tekken 8 than it is in Tekken 7 and not only that there's no reward for it because he has no launchers out of Meditation besides three. This is a launcher But it's extremely slow so I would highly recommend to not use meditation at all. That is my suggestion. That is just my suggestion, honestly. If you want to be better, if you want to get good at Yoshi, just don't use meditation. But it's up to you guys. Meditation is 3 plus 4. And you can do Kensho 3. I mean, not Kensho, you can do meditation 3. Or you can turn around, do 3, three 4. Or you can do... Uh, um, a lot of difficult stuff. It's just not worth it, bro. Honestly, it's just not. You've seen people do do back turn down one directly from meditation. How is that done? All right, that's that's the the difficult part I was just talking about. If you do meditation, you can cancel it by holding back, holding forward, sidestepping, in in, in any direction, or you can go into crouch which is back down back or f it's forward down forward to go on a crouch so i'm doing wall sending four right now it has to it's, it has to specifically be forward and then down forward so you're just sliding your input it has to specifically be that or you can do it the other way which is the better way which is back down back and this gives a lot of space as well as it gives you access to down one. If you input down, if you input back down back one, you can get it. Or forward down forward one, you can also get it. This is forward down forward. This is back down back. Down back one. That's how you do it. So you're just sliding the input. If you're doing like this and then crouching, you're doing it wrong. You don't get too slow. If you're doing like this, you're doing it too slow. You gotta slide it faster to down back. Like this. Um and that's it for his stances, right? And everything that he has. Pretty sure it is. Alright guys. Well, that's the end of the video yada yada please subscribe yada yada leave a comment and uh tekken 8's a great game you guys should uh keep playing it it's a great game also like the video